<laughs> What's up, Rock Squad? You know, it's your girl Rock, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. So, as you guys rip out that title, you already know what this video is gonna be about. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining me on this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Rock Squad. If you've been with me for a while and you watched a couple of my videos, thank you for joining me on another video. Thank you for clicking again. Y'all are real ones. Let's run it up. Help me run it up. Okay. So, guys, guys, guys. So, here goes a story time. And this is kind of like crazy for me because this goes back into like I was saying like doctors just tell you anything literally anything so I had posted if you follow me on Twitter um, you see that I probably posted that I had a broken foot that my foot was broken okay so I'm gonna go ahead and run you guys back of what actually happened and how I was told that I had a broken foot um, I actually have on a boot right now, so I'm still in the process of healing my foot. Um, but I will say it's not broken. Yeah, that part. Um, so on Friday, September 11th, I was leaving out of my house. And usually when I leave out, I go through the garage. I mean, yeah, the garage has stairs. In order for me to hurry up and get out the house without letting a dog out. I hurry up and try to close the door and just go down the stairs. Yeah, that didn't, it didn't work like that. I closed the door and I turned around good and I went to go down the stairs. When I went to go down the stairs, it is one, two, three. I stepped on that first step with my right leg. When I went to go, I missed the next two steps with my left leg and landed on the side of my foot just like this. My foot was just like this. And I sat there, I sat there in a moment and I was just like, I did not just do this. I didn't just do this. I straightened my foot back out. I limped a little in the beginning, but I kept walking. It was it was okay, I was like, oh, okay. You know, it, it hurt a little in the beginning. And I was like, oh, okay, it's fine, mm, keep on moving. Went and dropped my daughter off. Came back home because I forgot something. Y'all, when I got back home, ran to the house, got what I needed to get, went back to the car because I was going somewhere, going to see my friend. And I still didn't have no feelings, still did not feel nothing. She called me when, uh, well, we was talking on the phone while, while I was driving down there anyways. And my foot just started throbbing, y'all. My foot started like boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So me and my mom, I'm like, why my foot hurting? Why is foot hurting like this? And so I told her, I was like, oh yeah, I did. My foot hurts because I did, um, sorry guys, I did land it on my foot wrong. I did land it on my foot, on the side of my foot. Y'all, I lied you not, I looked down at my foot while driving. Y'all, my foot was swollen. So I had about 45 minutes until I get to her, until I got to her house. So mind you, like I said, we was on the phone. So she was like, what happened now? So I told her what happened to my, uh, what I did. And she was like, okay then, just wait till you get here, we'll see, you know, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Got there, she came outside because this is my first time coming to her place. So she was like, I'm gonna come outside so that way you don't get lost or you don't go the wrong way. All right, cool, bet. So she was waiting for me at the, like at the, like at a point, waiting for me to get out of my car. Y'all, she's on the phone, so what wrong, why are you not getting out the car, what's wrong with you? Y'all, I could not put my foot down on the ground. Like, put my foot down on the ground, like you would usually plant your foot down. No, my foot was like this. I literally could not put my foot down on the ground. My toe, like my, toe, it, it even hurt to put my toes on the ground. So she literally had to carry me into the house. Y'all. I was so like, what is going on? I'm hurt again? Like, what am I doing? But I told myself, I was like, this is a part of my journey. This is what's supposed to go on in my life. And it's okay. I'm gonna be okay. 
I'm going to get over this and I'm going to be back doing the things that I, used, that I used to do in no time. Those were my exact words. What she did for me was she made sure that I didn't get up and anything I needed, she got for me. Anything. Besides me going to the bathroom, of course, because I got to get up on my own go to the bathroom. But, like, she literally made sure I did not get up Friday night because I got there late, too. I got there, like, almost midnight on Friday. So, um, she made sure I didn't get up at all. So, Friday, I laid down. I iced it on Friday. Um, Saturday, it was, I didn't even get no sleep on Friday, y'all. I only got two hours and 20 minutes of sleep. And if I can insert my sleep up here because I wear my tracker. So if I can insert it for Friday, y'all gonna be like, what? But I only got two hours and 20 minutes of sleep on Friday. And so Saturday, she was like, you need to go to the doctor. You need to go to the doctor because what if it's broken? If you cannot walk on your foot, most likely it's broken. So... Saturday, once I, you know, got up, I literally still could not walk on my foot. I literally crawled to the bathroom on my knees, literally. And she was just looking at me like, why are you crawling? I was like, literally, I cannot walk on my foot. And so she was like, well, we need to go. And I was like, no, we don't. But eventually I gave in and I was just like, this pain is just getting on my nerves and it's starting to aggravate me. So I'm going to go. So I went, got there. Y'all, this man told me, he did x-rays and everything, this man told me my leg was broken. My foot, not my leg, my foot was broken. Green. My foot is not broken. And then where the previous doctor on Saturday said, he gave me some name of whatever was broken. The doctor yesterday told me that would have been on the opposite side of your foot. Three weeks, I'm gonna let him review that and I'm gonna come back and let you guys know what happened because I'm gonna vlog that um, that day and I'll make sure I vlog but I'm gonna tell you guys the craziest thing in the feeling that I got when I woke up yesterday morning to go to this doctor's appointment yesterday when I woke up and went to this doctor's appointment something told me you're gonna be walking out with a boot your foot is not broken you have healed Whatever happened on Friday with your foot is not the same how it's gonna look today. So if it was broken, it's not now. When I got to the doctor's appointment, he did the x-rays. He came back in the room. He said, oh, it's just a, I don't, he said, I don't see a fracture or anything. He's like, it's sprain or strain really bad. Um, he explained to me that there's a lot of bones and tendons and ligaments in our feet and that's why it hurts so bad and it swell up as bad as it did. Um, and all I can do is thank, like, thank, thank God, like, oh my gosh, like, so all I gotta do is be in the booth for three weeks. So that means I'll be back running in no time, which I knew. I'm gonna be back rollerblading in no time, which I knew. And I know y'all don't know that I rollerblade, but if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen that I actually started rollerblading four days ago now, and now I got a hurt foot. <laughs> it's crazy, but y'all, I'm still happy, I'm still thriving, I'm still being me, um, I'm still in good spirits, like nothing can get me down. Like, I don't know, I'm just the happiest person that I've ever been. And it's an amazing feeling. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys <laughs> my boot. And then I will, um, no, I don't think I have any pictures of it being swollen. I didn't even take any pictures of it being swollen, I don't think. I was just like, this is not real. This is not happening right now. This is not what's going on. And if this is what's going on, this is a part of the journey and this is a part of what I'm supposed to be experiencing in this um oh, excuse me in this human experience so I took it as that and <laughs> I'm living life every single day and just thriving to be a better person every single day so here goes the boot that I'm wearing for the next three weeks guys and like I said I am okay I've been okay um, this isn't stopping me from doing anything. And y'all, I have on this shoe right here simply because 
this makes me taller than what I actually am so I have to wear shoes with a high heel like with some heel on it so that's why I got on so it makes me the same height yeah so I'll be in my little boot for three weeks no worries guys I'm not in pain um literally the night that I got there um sorry y'all I'm trying to fix the camera the night that I got there uh literally I iced my I iced it um I propped it up I elevated it so that was good and then once he told me when I went to that uh, doctor on Saturday he had told me to wrap it and I sit also and keep it elevated and that's exactly what I did for the rest of the time I was there um so yep yeah, that's what I did and I really do not have any pain like I literally walk on it now I was walking on it yesterday when I even went to the doctor I mean I still had a little limp to it a little limp to it <laughs> I still had a little limp when I walked but literally it it feels fine and I'm doing great so uh, thank you all for joining me on this video. If you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Rock Squad. Um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like always, I'll be back with more videos. Peace.